As a West Alabama family is praying for their father, hoping he'll recover after being attacked by a man who used a machete to brutally assault the victim. Tonight, CBS 42 News reporter Tim Reed is talking exclusively to the elderly man's family while he's in the hospital fighting for his life. A Hale County man is in jail tonight, accused of using a machete to attack his landlord who owns this property behind me here. The victim's family tells me they now want justice for their father. But he ended up uh, cutting my dad with the machete and shooting him twice. Reginald Tucson cannot believe his father's tenant, Jeffrey Blunt, is accused of committing such a violent act. Right now he's in ICU. Um, they had to intubate, they had to put a tube uh, in his trachea to get air to his lungs because of where the man shot him and uh, hitting with the machete. His face swelled up, his neck swelled up, and he shot him in the shoulder. 80 year old Roy Tucson is fighting for his life, recovering from serious injuries. Blunt was arrested and charged with attempted murder and menacing. He's also a registered sex offender. The victim's family tells me Thursday morning the suspect turned the machete on Tucson after telling Blunt he was going to kick him out for not paying his rent. I'm upset and at the same time it bewilders me because if you're helping someone out, why would they want to harm you? Tucson was letting Blunt rent one of his houses on the farm he owns. The victim's son tells us his eight-year-old little brother witnessed the attack. The 80-year-old had a gun and tried to protect himself, but Blunt took it from him, then shot him several times. He'll help anyone out. You know, I think that's what really his kindness kind of got him in trouble with this particular person. 80-year-old Roy Tucson is in stable condition tonight at the hospital. His alleged attacker remains behind bars. In Hale County, Tim Reed, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.